Welcome to Module 2, Video 6, from the Safe and Effective Use of AI in Education online resources. A significant concern about generative AI is around sustainability. The best-known generative AI systems require massive amounts of energy to power thousands of servers that in turn need continuous cooling, turbocharging the need for data centres around the world and leading to a huge surge in electricity demand. Altogether, the 7,000 data centres worldwide consume more energy than most countries. It's putting global renewable energy supplies under pressure and jeopardising the carbon neutral plans of the big tech companies. As greenhouse gas emissions soar, the climate crisis accelerates. The use of water to run and cool the data centres is also an issue. JISC reports that an average hyperscale data centre, such as those used for training AI models, uses around 2.1 million litres of water every day. And this is especially concerning, considering that these data centres are often found in areas with limited water supply. Each year, the computing power needed to train generative AI increases, requiring more resources. Beyond the resources needed to train AI systems, they can also be energy hungry when we use them. AI uses far more power than the internet for tasks such as search queries. When it comes to images, the least efficient AI model uses the equivalent of half a smartphone charge per image that's generated. On the other side of the argument, tech companies are large investors in renewable energy. It's also claimed that AI may be able to help us tackle climate change through data analysis and innovative solutions. And there is a direct correlation between the complexity and size of AI models and energy consumption. The arrival of smaller AI models in 2025 may offer hope of a less energy-intensive future for AI systems. As educators, we need to be aware of the sustainability implications of AI use in general and, on a personal level, decide each time we use an AI system whether it's really the most appropriate tool for the job. Could that search query be made just as effectively on the internet rather than through an AI system? Do you need to generate extra images or can you search for one that already exists?